So, all right. So what I'd like to do is turn it over to James Cassera to give us a, a brief update on growing our future. And today he took two video walkthroughs, one outside and one inside the building. And he narrated those in the video. So I'll share those with you as well. But James, uh, if you could just kind of give us a brief overview before I share each one, kind of an introduction to each one, and I'll go ahead and share it. You got it. Um, so it took us like nine months to get through land development and permitting, um, but it looks like we're gonna build this thing in three to four months. So it's actually been really exciting. We broke ground, uh, officially broke ground about a, about a month ago, and uh, they really haven't, they really haven't stopped since. They started demoing almost immediately uh, interior uh, bathrooms, um, getting a bank of windows out that had to come out, uh, all the interior offices, as you'll see. Carpets out, ceilings are out, lights are out. Um, and now the windows are coming out and they're getting infilled on the back side of the building. Um, outside, uh, We've got, oh, we brought in new electrical service the other day, ripped up the parking lot in the back and put that back together, sort of. Um, but it's at least drivable and passable. Uh, out front site work began what they call like their first phase, just um, like the rough grading uh, has been done. Dirt has uh, begun moving. They put in the, what they call the water retention basin. Um, which was a big sticking point with the township, but that's in the uh, foundation walls uh, went in uh, all the underground plumbing, electrical work is going on and they were stoning today, getting ready to pour their slab. Obviously with the remnants of the hurricane coming up, looks like that's not gonna happen until you know, Saturday or Monday. When that happens, um, actually the walls of the additional start going up and so they're, you know, quite honestly, uh, they're doing a great job. They're moving along. They're right on schedule where we were projecting to be. I keep pushing for Christmas. Um, I'm not certain we're going to meet Christmas. I think the official timeline is February, but um, we're all very optimistic we will, we will beat that timeline. And then the only thing that's really going to be left for the spring, the, the asphalt plants um, will shut down here. Uh, pretty shortly. So we will be left with a little bit of a rough, um, rough site or parking area for, for a few months, but that'll kind of be the last piece that happens in the spring. And, um, you know, Alan's been a huge help. Uh, he's, he's right there whenever they need anything, small questions. Um, you know, he knows the church in and out. So he's been a huge help. The design team uh, really came together. They got us all our answers quickly. As new things pop up, they're getting and turning around responses in days. So we're, the church is doing everything possible to uh, expedite the schedule and um, get course in and out of there as soon as possible. Uh, good news, bad news with the COVID, we, we've had the opportunity to do a lot of work with nobody in the building. So nobody coming to church, nobody in the nursery school. So they've really gone gangbusters. Um, it's my understanding the nursery school is coming back online. So we're preparing for that to uh, make sure that they have the proper in and out and things are safed off and uh, that they have the internet and all the things that we took offline why they weren't in the building. So um, I think it's going great. We've had a great group this whole time. And uh, this seems to be the easy part, putting the building up. <laughs> <laughs> so any questions, uh, always feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm in touch with Horst, you know, probably every couple of days. We have biweekly meetings. I send the meeting minutes out to our um, our original committee and construction schedule. So that's been uh, really exciting in a time where, you know, you're not able to get out as much or there's a lot less uh, going on in the world. So 
Um, certainly exciting to be on site and hopefully the videos give you a little, a little glimpse into what's going on there. And um, you almost wouldn't know we were in the middle of a pandemic as they're trudging right along. Thank you. Um, all right, so I'm gonna share these two videos with you. And I will start by sharing the one that's um, outside. Where we're at in the construction process at NSPC. We've got quite a bit of work going on here today. We've got lay down area, all the wood. They're getting ready to start framing. been done. You can see stubbed up uh, a lot of the plumbing work. So the underground's done, electric underground, plumbing underground. Continue to move materials. They're actually hoping to pour our concrete pad today, which will open us up to start framing the actual structure. And this is where our retention basin is. And then I'll give you a quick update what's going on on the inside. All right, so that is what's happening with the outside. And let me now share what's happening um, with the inside. Okay. Yeah. Dang it. Demo's going on inside. Windows missing. No video, Gene. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry, let me try it again. Can you, uh, that's the wrong one. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. I'm hearing Jim in the background too, <laughs> saying yes. All right, so let me try this. I'm sorry about that. All right, a lot of trenching going on in here. Temp walls up, old bathroom. Framers here, framing them behind them. We 
that's it.